Okay, in this class, I want to discuss about the strings. In this class, I want to discuss about the strings. Of course, hello, any problem? Okay. All right. Uh, in this class, uh, of course, already studied in the uh, previous uh, year, in the first year, you are studying about the strings in the uh, C language. So you know that string is a, a collection of characters. Whenever you are using the word collection, then that is a array. That is a array. What is the general definition of the array? Array is a, a set of memory locations which contain the same data which contains the same data type whether the integer array whether character array whether the boolean array or whether the double array whatever it may be it is a set of memory locations which can store the same data type okay so here this is called as a string string is nothing but a collection of characters your name is a string my name is a string your section is a string your register number is a string Okay, so what is the character? A character is not only the alphabet, it also includes the numeric values, symbols, special symbols, and everything should be considered as a character. The collection of characters is called as a string. Okay, but in the Java program, in the Java point of view, strings are to be considered as an object. Strings are considered to be the objects. Suppose you are giving a one name, name one is equal to Madhavra. So you can mention the name as a double quotations, Madhavrao. So what is the name one? Name one. What is the name of that? Name one. So before the name one, you can write as a string. Why? Because what is the data type? This is the string. So that's why how to declare the uh, one variable, uh, string variable. Let us take string name one is equal to double quotations. And okay, that is the double quotation. Within the double quotation, you can mention the, your name. You can mention your name. Then the processor can allocate a set of memory locations and which start from zero. You can start from zero. Okay. And with suppose seven characters are there. So within the seven characters, first left character can be assigned as a zero. Next one, two, three, four, five, up to n minus one. N characters are there. Then it is indexed, indexed. So that means, suppose name one, name one of zero will give yum. So what is the first letter? Yum. So it will give the yum. So name of two, so name of one, so name of one, so name of one will give the second character. So that's why to specify a special character in a R is called as a indexing, indexing. Indexing always starts from zero, not from one. So that's why, suppose if the length is equal to seven and the character can be assigned as the index starts from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So how many characters are there? Length is equal to seven. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so this is, uh, I repeat, zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, and this is called as a uh, five and six. So how many total characters are? Always starts from seven. Seven contains the zero to six point of view. I repeat, length is seven characters, but index starts from zero, ending with the n minus one. N is equal to seven, so that's why index starts from zero, ending with the n minus one. That is equal to six. So zero, one, two, three, four, okay, and five and six. So total seven. Total seven. I repeat, zero, one, two, three, four five and six total seven so seven characters are there but indexing starts from zero okay ending with the n minus okay so let us take how to create a string i repeat uh, i want to give one idea suppose if you were creating a a string then an object is created once an object is created that string is immutable as long as the string is exist in the object please remember this topic is very important as long as the string is exist in the object it never changes your string the never changes a string that concept is uh, i will clear within very short time i repeat once your string is created so there is an object is created 
this is an object is created as long as that string is created in that object that string cannot be changes that is called as immutable strings are immutable that means it is not to changes whenever you require it is not changes if you want to change then you can create another object you can create another object so in the another object you can create another another uh, by modification but until in the particular object you are not supposed to change the strings so that's why strings are immutable please be listen this is a very very important word strings are immutable okay i repeat what is the immutable as long as once a string is created then an object is created by the name variable okay first point second point as long as that object is inside the same object that string is in the same object it never changes suppose if you want to change suppose in the uh, name one is equal to madhav assume that name one is equal to madhav so first object is name one and object is the name madhav suppose i want to change my name as a madhav rao then it is not possible in the name one the in the object in the object i am not supposed to change suppose in the name if i want to change my name then i can create another object i can create another object with the same name another object with the same that is called as a pool pool so then i can change the name one dot concat rao then what is the name one madhav so concat stands for rao so madhav rao so then there is another object is created with the same name okay right so that's why what i'm saying is that strings are objects one subject is created you cannot change the string value that is string string that is called as a immutable if you want to change then you can create the another name with the same variable you can create another object with the same variable so a pool having a different object with the same variable so i think this is the starting point of view it is somewhat difficult to understand okay later on you can clearly understand it suppose what is my first step creating a string so let us take uh, suppose any variable any data type can be mentioned with the what is the syntax the first syntax this is called as a string so this is the data type so this is the data type so this is called as a name this is called as a name greeting string greeting so then what happens an object is created with the name of the greeting and it can in the object it can store the hello world i can store the hello world this is a direct declaration this is the direct declaration so that means it is not accepting from the keyboard okay it is directly declaring the uh, value okay suppose second thing suppose i don't want to i want to create an empty object i want to create a empty string then i can use suppose string e this is the name and this is the data type is equal to double quotation if you are giving the double quotation then what happens there is a empty string is created empty string is created okay suppose let us take uh, i want to discuss one thing so all right substring so first i can explain the topic then i can go to the pro program then you can easily understand substring suppose let us take my name is madhav rao my name is a madhav rao i want to get the only madhav can anybody says madhav rao how many uh, characters are there m a d h a v a r a o can total 10 suppose if there is a white space is there then total characters are 11 suppose i want to get the madhav so already in, in previous i am saying that index value index value so starting from zero suppose madhava madhava i don't want to rao so i want that is called a madhava rao is a string but i want to get the only substring that is called a madhava so that's why with the specifications of the index with the specifications of the index then i can get the a sub part of the my name sub part of the my name that is called as a substring this is called as a substring i repeat madhava rao this is my name but i want only the madhava i want only the madhava this is called as a substring this is called as a substring how to extract the substring 
from the given name. That is called as a substring. So there are two methods are there. Okay. Suppose I want to get the route. I want to get the route. Okay. So then what is the index of the R? So M0, A, D, H, A. So this is the four. V, A, six. Okay. Madhava. And white space, seven. And Rao. Rao starts from eight. Rao starts from eight. Suppose if I am giving the uh, substring, I can give only the eight. I can give the only eight. Then what happened from eighth index onwards, it will be printing. From eighth index onwards, it will be printing. So that means, suppose if you are giving a only one specific index, from that onwards, the remaining string should be executed. This is the one way. Suppose if I am giving the only the uh, starting index is zero, then what has entire name should be printing out. Entire name should be printing out. Suppose if you are giving the five, then what happened from five onwards, your string should be executed. So your five should be uh, uh, output is available. So that is called as a substring. That is called as a substring. So how to perform the substring? So this is the string is a class and substring is a object and then you can perform the starting index. So what is my starting index? Zero. Suppose I want to get the eight to eight onwards or five onwards. What out? So from eight onwards, so then I will give the five. Suppose I want to get the eight onwards. So row. So that means there is no end limit. Suppose in the string, suppose if you're starting from eight and ending is a hundred, then what happens from eight onwards, all value should be printing out. All the characters should be printing out. That is the one method. So that means you can specify the start, but you are not specify the ending. Then from starting index, all the characters are printing out. There is another mode. No, no. I want to print only from the specific index range from this point to this point. So from zero to five, I want to printing out. Zero to five, I want to printing out. So then you will give the start index and you will give the end index. You will give the end index. Okay. You will give the end index. Okay. All right. So that's why from the only a specific part you want to extracting, then you can use the start index and end index. But there is one thing is important. So please be a one character in there. In case of the substring, start index is inclusive. Suppose I want to print 0 to 5. I want to print out 0 to 5. I want to print out 0 to 5. So what is the starting index? 0. So that first character is also printing out 5. But this is the ending index. At the ending index, five fifth character. So that means zero, one, two, three, and four should be displayed. Fifth character, fifth indexed character is not displayed. Fifth indexed character is not displayed. That's why it is called as the end index is exclusive. Suppose what I'm saying, what in the range? Zero comma five. Zero comma five. So what is the starting index? Zero. So that character is print, printed. So that's why it is called as a inclusive. What is the uh, end index? Five. So zero to start from zero. Zero is printed. First is printing. Second is printing. Third is printing. Fourth is printing. But the fifth character, fifth index character is not printing. So that's why it is called as a end index is exclusive. End index is exclusive. So that's why for the substring point of view, there are two methods are there. One is called as a string substring. So this is called as a substring index. Second is the substring with two uh, starting index I want to give. And there is a second method you want to print out a specific range that is called a starting and ending index. Okay. This is called as a strings. All right. So now I want to stop the sharing and I want to go to the programming.
Okay. Now I want to clarify that. This is called as a substring in Java. This is called as a substring in Java. So let us take, there are two methods are there. Suppose first one, uh, right. So this is called as a starting index and this is called as a ending index. So let us take how to display string. Okay, yes is equal to hello. Suppose what is my string? Yes is equal to hello. Okay, I can show you how to print out that. Suppose I want to print out from starting value 0, 0 index and ending with 2. But 2 character is not displayed. So you can check what is the 0 index value here? H. What is the 1 index? G. E. What is the next 2 index is a L. But L is not displayed. So that's why ending index is omitted. Ending index should be omitted. So you can print HE. Okay, I can show you. This is the test version. So let us take your favorite cricket uh, star, Sachin Tendulkar. Okay, suppose let us take string. So this is the class. So the class name is a test substring. Okay, suppose what is the string? So this is called as a data type. What is the data type? String is a data type. And what is the variable name? Yes. Then what happened? Such intent you occur. So a object is created with the name of the yes. Inside the object, then such intent you occur is assigned. Okay. Suppose let us take here only one index is there. If the only one index is specified, then from that index, at the end of the string, it should be displayed. It should be displayed. Okay. Suppose here what happened, the second thing is the starting index and ending index. So that means it can start with the zero index and end with the five. But sixth indexed value is not displayed. Sixth indexed value character is not displayed. So let us take, I want to test. Okay, all right. So compile and run. Let us take it's a component. So next I want to run one more time. Suppose let us take substring start. What is the string value? Sachin. So please say that uh, there is a gap. There is a gap. So this is called as a white space. White space is also one character. So what is total value? Zero, one, two. how many characters are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So how many characters are there? 16 characters. So what is the indexing value? Start from zero, ending with two, 15. Ending with two, 15. But he's saying that only one index, the starting index. So what is the starting index value? Six. So let us take 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. From 6 onwards, it will be displayed. So that's why please say that in the output 10 year period, there is a white space before that. There is a white space before that. So that's why the, if you mention the starting character, then it can display from starting character to ending character. Okay, that is the, this one of the method substring. And let us take, this is called as a starting index is the zero and the ending index is the six. So that means, so you can take the zero, one, two, three, four, five. Six is not included, excluded, excluded. So then by executing this instruction, you will get the such in. So that's why such in. So I want to show one thing, let us take. Suppose how to print the string value, okay? So, oh, sorry. Uh, system dot out. System dot out substring. Uh, I don't need uh, print L and yes. Okay, can you play? Can anybody respond? 
what is the output you want to get now? Hello? Hello? Can anybody respond, please? Nana, don't waste your time, Nana. It's a very important thing. Please respond. Anyone? Anyone? Sachin Tendulkar, sir. Hello? Sachin Tendulkar, sir. Hello? Anyone? Please respond. Sachin Tendulkar, sir. Hello? Hello? Please respond. Hello? What is the output now? I am changing the program. What is the output? Hello? Sachin Tendulkar, Tendulkar, Sachin. Lokesh. Mr. Lokesh. Hello, Lokesh? Lokesh? Sir. Hello? Hello? Anybody here? Hello? All of you please respond. Anybody here? Hello, sir. This is not the right way. Hello, please sir. respond. Sir. Hello. Mr. Lokesh. Hello, Lokesh? Sir. Hello, is my voice is clear? Okay. Yes, sir. Is my voice is clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello? Hello, sir. Right, what is the output? Sachin Tendulkar. Nana, can anybody respond, please? Sachin Tendulkar, sir. Hello? Sir, Nana, is my voice is clear? Is it audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, your voice is audible. Hello? Hello, sir. So can anybody respond? I think I'm not getting an answer from your side. Sir, we are responding. Hello, Jyoti? Hello, Jyoti? What happens? Hello? 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 Vengatesh, Vengatesh. Sir, you know about another wife? Sir, you know about the wife? Hello? Nobody is not responding. No, oh, Mr. Bardo, what happens? Sir. Sir. Hello? Okay. Sir. Right, this is the way to print the string. So let us take. Uh -huh. We'll get the Sachin Tendulkar. 
So next is the yes dot substring. To print the, a part of the string, you can use the yes dot sub, uh, uh, substring. Okay. All right. I want to connect this. Sanyu pouch kon sanyu ball at sanyu asla. A class indi? Yeah. Adite? Hmm? Display that is called such Indian yoga. Suppose only a part that is called a substring. There are two methods are there. One is you can mention the starting index but not mention the ending index. Then what happens? You will get the from that index point of view, the value should be printing out. That is called tenule curve. But there is a tenule curve, there is a space. So 16 index is space. So then you can get the space with the tenule curve. Suppose if you are giving the starting index and the ending index, then what happens? The starting character should be displayed, but n minus one index value. So n is equal to six. What is n minus one? That is the fifth character should be displayed, but not the sixth character is not displayed. Okay, right. this is a one idea. Let us see. Next is the my next topic is right. Next, this is called as a string concatenation. String concatenation. Concatenation stands for adding the two strings. Adding the two strings, two or more. So, uh, original string is there. If the original string is then you can concat. You can concat. Okay, all right. So, this is called as a concat. So, what is a concatenation? Combination of multiple strings. Combination of multiple strings are there. Yes, sir. Yeah. There are two methods for the concatenation. Number one, just by using the plus. So this is called as a string concatenation operator. String concatenation operator. Okay, so by just suppose Madhava is there one string, Rao is the another string, then I can concat the both one Madhava plus Rao. Then I will get the answer Madhava Rao. So concatenation is always takes place at the end of the first string. At the end of the first string, not, not the before, end of the uh, first string. And second method is the concat method. So you can use the concat. So in the previous one, you can just add first string Madhava within quotation plus Rao is the another quotation. Then you will get the answer Madhava Rao. So then that is the first method. And the second method is the concat method. The second method is called as a concat method. Okay, in the concat method, what, what happened? You can change, you can add the another one. You can add the another one, okay? You can change the another one right now how to concatenate let us take this is the this is called a string concat string another string concat uh, so let us take what is the syntax public this is called a public stand for it can use for public this is the string what is the function concat so string another value 
So this is called how to concat the string. There are two methods are there. Just by adding the concatenator operator, you can add the two string. So what is the first string? Madhava. And what is the second string? Rao. So Rao is appended to the first string at the end of the first string, but not the before. So Rao Madhav is not possible. Rao Madhav. So just by use that. Okay. All right. Now I can show you one program. Okay. Let us say this is called as I want to clear. This is the string concatenation. Now I want to show you the string concatenation. Let's take this is called a string concatenation. Oh, all right. So within 10 minutes, I want to close this class. So let us take the first one. Uh, this is a uh, what is a variable string? What is the variable name? Yes. And what you want to add? That is the Sachin in double quotation plus Tendulkar in the double quotation. At the end of the instruction, you can use the semicolon. Okay. Then what you think? So suppose I want to get print out the yes value. Okay. I want to get the yes value. Okay, so now I want to test it. What you are getting output? This is my program and I want to compile. After compile, I want to get the value. This is called as a Sachin Tendulkar. Suppose I want to change this program. Let us take, I want to print my name. Okay, I want to compile and run. Yes. So let us take Madhava Rao. I'm not giving any white space. I'm not giving any white space. Then I'm getting the Madhava Rao. Suppose if I'm giving the space, okay, there is a space. Then I want to compile again. So then there is a gap. Madhava Rao. So this is the directive method. So then here plus is called as a concatenation operator in the string, but the same plus can be used as a arithmetic addition in the data types, in the integer value or float value. Okay, all right. So for another state, I want to discuss the next one. Okay, suppose, not only the two strings are concatenated, you can add some more data and finally it will create as a string. So let us take, suppose let us take yes is equal to 50 plus 30 plus Sachin plus 40 plus 40. Can you guess what is the answer? Can you guess what is the answer? 50 plus 80 is 50 plus 30 is equal to 80, then Sachin plus 80. So then I will get the answer. 80 okay 80 this is called as a 80 and the sachin and this is called as a 40 plus 40 uh, so wrong is there okay so then i want to run
So let us take, I want to delete this. I don't need Here, no, no, no. So here I want to delete. So this is 80 Sachin. Now can you please tell me what happens? Suppose in, in the previous, I'm using the plus 40 and plus. 40. So then it will get the answer 80 Sachin 40 40. So why here it is added and why here it is not added? Because before the operand, this is the value of the integers. So then this is the string. So a concatenation is already added to the end of that. So plus 40. So 40 is added to Sachin. That is the 40. And then 40. Another 40 is there. That 40 is added to appended. So that's why you are getting the 80 Sachin 40 40, but not the 80 Sachin 80 80. This is the one method. So that means you can concatenate the numbers also with the string. Then finally, this will become the one string. And next, I want to discuss one more concept. Right. So let's take, I'm creating a S1 is the Sachin, S2 is the Tendulkar, but I want to create Sachin Tendulkar. This is a concatenation by using the concat operator. So this is called the S1. So S3 is another object. I repeat, S3 is another object. In the object, I want to concat S1 dot concat S2. What is the S1? Sachin. Concat. What I want to concat? S2. Then I will get the answer. Sachin can be cut. And what answer? Such a tenuker. Another method. This is the another method. One object is created, another object is created. Then by using the concat operation, that is called the concat, concat operand. Then I want to concat the two ones. That second one is always appended to the last of the first string. Second string is always appended to the first string, but not the before string. You should remember one thing. Okay, I want to clarify one more though. Okay. Suppose I want to clarify one though. Please be listen. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Right. Can you please tell me what is the output? The so output is us. you are getting the session. The output you are getting only the session. Okay, why because S1 is a one object is created. What the name? Sachin. It is a immutable. So that means it is not changes. But here what you are doing, that is S1 dot cat S2. So within the object, the string is not changes. If you want to concat, then then another object is created. Within the same name, another object is created. Okay. So then you will get the answer, Sachin Tendulkar. But if you are not assigned to any, if you are not assigned to the concatenation, yes, see this, this is the Sachin. So let us take S1 is equal to Sachin, S2 is equal to Tendulkar, but I want to concat S1 that uh, concat S2. Okay, I am not assigning here. I am not assigning any object. So then what happens? 
that S1 is preserved. This is called as a immutable. This is called as a immutable. So now, second I want to create S1 is equal to S1 dot uncat. Then now can you check what is the output answer? Can anybody have output answer? Sachin Tendulkar or Sachin? Here there is some technical problem. Okay, after uh, concept is over, I want to finish this. So please wait for the result. So here what I'm saying is that as well as yes one they created an object of Yeah. I'm going to deliver it on Thailand.